morning and happy Friday, everyone. This is Mel from Melamore Nursery, and I have brought on, look at who I brought on, Grumpy Chloe. I love this little girl. She has grown on me so, so much. And uh, I just love her expression. She is the Gabigail Awake sculpt by Claire Taylor. And this doll, oh my goodness, she, I don't know. I've said this time and time again, the imperfections of a doll really, really grow on me and um, their personalities become very defined uh, by their flaws. And I suspect this is the truth in uh, life with people as well. I mean, what we think to be a negative uh, characteristic of ourselves actually turns out to be the most endearing qualities that we have if used the right way. So um, the way that this doll um, has been painted, the way her hair has been uh, rooted, um, let me just remove her bottle. She's just got filtered water in that bottle and she's just got a honey bug pacifier which fits her perfectly. Look at that. But Chloe is about the size of a three month. She actually looks wiser and older than that to me. She is very movable and poseable. She is still weighted very lovely. She is the twin to Christopher, who is the Gabigail asleep. Uh, I've had Christopher a lot longer than I've had Chloe. And, um, I, I don't know. I just loved her in this outfit. Now, Chloe, Chloe has a jean jacket that is just Chloe's. And, uh, because of the weather, of course, she hasn't been wearing it. It's very typical of her. She's, she's a bit of a rebel. I see a little bit of a rebel in her, in her eyes. Um, and I will show you. See? She is a little bit of a grumpy one, this girl. Um, but at the same time, she, you know, her eyes are just so inquisitive. She's got this overbite here. And even though the face of Christopher and Chloe are the same, except for the eyes, of course, uh, she just seems to be more of the, you know, ah, uh, I... You know, Christopher's so, like, relaxed. She, this one here is like, don't mess with me. I'm <laughs> like, don't mess with me. Um, I absolutely and completely love this doll. Now, there was, uh, oh yeah, Aneta had this tag where she, um, where she said, you know, recreate the box opening of the doll and so I put Chloe back into this outfit minus she didn't come with the shoes or these socks she had just plain white socks but I added the shoes and the socks and I don't believe she had that hair bow either so she was just like in this beautiful like pair of pants um yeah and the undershirt wasn't um, part of it either but um these are like I don't know. It just suits her so well. I love the fuzziness of the sweater, the little like animal ears on it. And like I said, look how poseable she is. You know, like if she was on the floor with one of those little um, toys above her, you could just see her kind of reaching for them, moving around. If you are new to my channel, folks, I just want to reiterate, I am an adult doll collector. This is a reborn doll. Uh, she comes with a certification of authenticity, um, and she is one of 500 of this sculpt made. Um, I happen to have two of them. No, but I have one of her with the open eyes, and Christopher is also one of 500, um, which is fairly low for for this particular sculpt. Um, there is a Gabigail uh, silicone doll, Awake and Asleep. Um, and 
yet, you know, like for a while, I really like aspired to get that doll. And then I found Rain. So I still have Rain. Uh, Rain is a partial silicone doll by Claire Taylor. Um, and Rain reminds me a lot of Chloe. And so I got her, except Rain is like, um, she's uh, considered biracial, although I don't, I don't quite understand the skin tone to me is just like, I don't know, a little sun kissed, I guess. So anyway, moving on today is uh, a theme. And of course, I've missed a couple of days, folks. I want to uh, start off by saying I apologize. I've been like crazy busy with appointments and running around. And also, um, if I don't have like in, in my heart of hearts, if I don't have like the time to spend on a proper video and I know that it's going to be like just a like quick I I don't I don't want to do it I want to I want to take the time with the dolls because um I really love to appreciate uh the sculpt what they're made of um not what they're made of but like the personality that comes emanates basically from them and um as a writer uh, and this goes to anybody who's new on my channel as a writer, these dolls actually um, project to me sort of like a storytelling aspect. And I hope to, uh, as part of my mission statement for my channel, I hope to educate, inspire, uh, um, encourage, and drop any stigmas about any kind of anything, really, actually, because I'm I'm not in favor of stigmas, period. Uh, so whether it's collecting reborn dolls or collecting, I don't know, matchbook cars, it doesn't matter to me. A collection is a collection. This, to me, this collection is an interactive, uh, creative collection that happens to be a reborn doll that I changed the fashion aspect of it, the clothing. And of course, being a doll, the doll will not ruin the clothes. So therefore, the fashion is like definitely the greatest allure not to mention that um these these dolls look realistic and there's so many different purposes for them you know um and i say this time and again but again if you're new i uh, usually down in my hashtags i write the sort of things that um these dolls have been known to um help with for example you know uh they can be mental health, positive mental health. They could be like, just as like, as a collection. Um, and, and a person could just be a collector, but you know, they could be as a therapy doll. They can be as a, um, lifelike doll, a realistic doll, a, um, a fake baby even. Not that, you know, um, not that the people that have these dolls, re like they all realize folks that, <laughs> that these are dolls, okay? Uh, I have yet to see a channel where they, they've confused the doll with a baby. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't see that. Uh, but that's, there's a big stigma out in the, in the um, non-reborn community that, you know, that people who collect dolls uh, don't actually think that they're dolls, that they're like babies. I don't do that. Um, and I have actually taken out recently my last video. No, my second to last video. I can't remember. I must have done Tiny Reborn Tuesday. Didn't I? I don't know. I can't even remember, folks, because I'll tell you something. Uh, I went for that walk on Sunday. <laughs> And uh, it was a bit hard on me, a lot harder on my body than I actually thought it was going to be. And of course, you all watched it. I went down a very steep slope. The brakes on the, the, the stroller were on backwards, so the, the stroller was kind of wobbling. And uh, it, it, you know, <clears throat> it was an ambitious, let's just say, it was an ambitious go for me and my body uh, for the last, oh, I don't know. Oh, since Sunday and it's Friday. So I, I've sort of been kind of recouping from that. Um, and that's okay. That's okay because I push myself a little bit to find out what I can do and what I can't do. And so anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. We're back to Chloe. Chloe needs to come out of this sweater. 
because I am hoping we're going to have weather today like we've been having weather. And yesterday, uh, it started out like be between 17 and let me just take her shoes off here. These shoes, by the way, were gifted to me um, in friend mail from Chris from Chris's Cuddles. And I will list all of the channels that I mentioned today, folks, in my description box. If you can, um, please go down and check them out because, you know, um, this is a great way of discovering new channels if you don't know of them. So aren't those beautiful? They're pink pattern little shoes. They're absolutely cute as a button. Um, I love them. Thank you, Chris. Uh, so today is Casual Fun Friday. And Casual Fun Friday started out as Casual Friday from Tammy at Reborn Nursery, but now she's Tater Tot Nursery. And then uh, the baton was passed over to Kitty and Toddy over at Little Waddle Nursery. And Kitty and Toddy um, made it Casual Fun Friday. But Tammy still has Thankful Friday. And I reintroduced that for her, I think, just before the new year. Because I feel like that's so, so important. But that that's Tammy's hashtag. Not that, you know, um, anybody here is like, I don't know. I Like, when it comes to themes and hashtags, I don't know. I just... I just go with the flow, folks. I really just go with the flow. And, you know, if, if you have a day that you can't do, like, if you just want to do your own thing, that's perfectly fine. Um, I did want to talk on this topic a little bit because, um, you know what? Like, a person should be able to do whatever they want on their channel. And they should. Okay? They absolutely should. Uh, there's no right or wrong way of doing your channel. Okay? Um there just isn't. My only stipulation I, I said, and when I started this channel, I had a mission statement, as I said, was that um, I, I wanted to point out all the benefits of mental health that these dolls have on individuals, men, women. Uh, you know, folks, I've done study polls and research and you know, uh, teenage boys, teenage girls, young adults, male and female, it really doesn't matter. And you know what? We shouldn't have a stigma because um, we want our men to have nurturing skills. And how else do we get those nurturing skills? Well, we get them from nurturing something, right? We get them from nurturing something. So years ago, when my kids were little, when they, when I ran a daycare, you know, the boys, look at her, look at her. I just love her. She's got the most funky hair. Look at her hair. She's just been like rooted with this strip of hair right here, right? And that's what I mean about her flaws. She's got one of those kind of heads that, you know, babies get when they come out of the birth canal and it takes like almost six months before their head forms properly um yeah she's like she looks so different in just just a onesie kicking her legs around like the sculpting is just amazing but as i was saying you know uh i had a daycare when my kids were little and I had equal amount of boys and girls, and I would lay out all sorts of things. And I never, not once, ever said, these are boys' toys and these are girls' toys. Never. The boys played with doll houses, the dolls, the dress-up clothes, just as much as the girls did. And the girls played with the, the oh, I don't know, what, what the electric kind of plastic tools and the trucks and all of that. And I thought that was great because they were expanding their knowledge. Now, Miss Chloe, I think we're gonna take off this undershirt because we're gonna put on some new clothes. So new clothes falls under hashtag new doll clothes by Jay over at J Dolls UK. And this way you can actually see Chloe's like uh, construction. I call it construction. Many call it a body. I call it a construction because it is. Um, it is the body, yes. And I, you know what? 
I never even checked her diaper either. So she might need a new diaper. I will have to back up and close if I need to. <clears throat> she is in zero to three months, by the way. She is 22 inches long. And she is, how much do you weigh, baby girl? Oh, yeah, she's like seven pounds. She's a big girl. She weighs a little bit more than her brother. Um, she's pretty close to seven pounds. So let's just check that diaper of yours, little girl. Oh, yeah, I've got to change it, folks. Please excuse me. I have to. Oh. Normally, I would um, find a cloth diaper for her. I'm trying to get them into cloth diapers, but uh, I haven't really been on the ball much lately. Please excuse me. So I just found her this one here, and it's got like, I don't know, some purple and some leaves. It's quite soft. It is a Kirkland size 2 which fits her. So yes, she's going to be in an outfit that actually I received in Fred Mail from Kitty and Toddy. Thank you so, so much. I didn't know who to put it on and I was thinking it would go on Vivia, but Vivia is more of a newborn size. In fact, she is. So um, this is Miss Chloe in her construction. She's got a gathered body. She moves really well, really well. And I just love how she like just goes off and stares into whatever. And then like her eyes, oh my goodness. Like she's got the most beautiful eyes. So I'm going to get her dressed. But at first, once I get her diaper on, just to give her a little bit of, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? sense of privacy not that not that this sculpt has any bits um and I say bits meaning privates of course on silicone dolls they do okay um but on reborn dolls or dolls they don't right um and sometimes you can get tummy plates with the parts on it and that's great for pictures and stuff like that but um I, I wouldn't take pictures of, you know, personal private parts or whatever. But I mean, whatever. That's just my own, my own thing. And I'm, I'm kind of rambling today, actually. I noticed I'm rambling. I'm just kind of going off. Normally, I would tuck that down, like on a baby. Like, especially because my grandson, right? And it is rather large. Let's flip you over, little girl, and let everybody see you. Um, it, this one's a bit big, but yeah, I would tuck it like I used to tuck it, you know. She's very, very soft. This diaper is very soft and she is, she's kind of a smoother mat. So she feels like, she feels more like skin than like the mat of a doll. She feels like she has more skin. And then she's got that tuff of hair. And I got to tell you, when I first seen that tuff of hair, I was like, why would you just put that tuff of hair? But um, it's grown on me. It really has. Because it gives her a little bit of something that no other doll has, which is her own personality. Right? And I could style that up if I wanted to. But what I think happened is that whoever started it with her, I can give her a little, if I wanted to really, like, work this down, I can give her a curl. But I think whoever, like, rooted her started to root, realized how much work it is to root. And believe me, I've been working on rooting, so I know how much work is involved. But yeah, she could have, she could have a little spiky curl, a little mohawk up there. Um, but I just, I just push it forward because... I don't want her to have a mohawk. <laughs> I'm like a parent that says, I don't want my child to have a tattoo. So the outfit, like I said, that I'm going to put on her is this one here. Thank you so much, Kitty and Toddy. This came in friend mail some months ago, like before Christmas, I believe, before 
um, yeah, before they went on their European trip. And it is a zero to three month size. And I was trying to figure out who I was going to put it on. And I think it's going to look great on Chloe. And with that, I do have an undershirt. It is, um, she doesn't really need one, but she's going to wear it anyway. Wonder Nation, zero to three months. So this also looks new to me. So I think this came in a box opening because it doesn't look uh, worn. She's going to have these socks here. And then, um, look at these shoes, folks. These little Hello Kitty shoes. Oh, you can't see them because I use an elastic band to, um, let's see what else is in here. There's something in this shoe that's in there. Oh, no, it's just part of the laces. Look at these Hello Kitty shoes. So she's going to wear those. And let me just get them set up here. And then I have, uh, because it, it does have a hat, but I mean, um, I might put this hair bow in instead of the hat because the hat's not, um, there's no like, um, string to the hat. So I might sew on elastic to tuck it under her chin, but we'll try it on. But I still think that, I think that one would probably go. So she's going to be decked out in really bright colors, really summery colors. And, you know, um, I love it. Like this dark pink here, which is the theme, you know. Oh, and by the way, I just wanted to say there's there's all the teddies. And there's Billy. And Prayer Bear, which is Lammy, right there. Sending out love and hopes and everything. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera. Um... I better hurry this up. We're already at 21 minutes. But yeah, I, I wanted to just go back a little bit um, and say about the tags, the, the tags, the themes. Um, the themes are there for people to choose to do or not to do as they wish. That's how I see it. And uh, that's, you know, it's your channel. You can do what you want, folks, as long as it doesn't hurt anybody. That's it. That's all. That's my opinion. And um, I uh, I come from a place where I just, you know, we're adults here. And we should be, we should be lifting each other up. Fixing each other's crowns, if you will. To quote a sticker I recently put on a journal. <laughs> we should all be fixing each other's crowns. So there she is in the bright pink, which in its in itself, I don't I don't know, maybe because she's on that pink blanket, but um it's not really her color, but that's okay because she's going to what did I do with the scissors? I cut this hat. And I was also talking about, yeah, uh the walk that I did on Sunday. Thank you guys so much for your comments. I know I haven't gotten to uh, any other responses yet? It's been a wild, wild week, folks. Seriously, wild, wild week. Um, and it doesn't mean that I'm not um, here or watching your channel. This was Sweet Elegance, zero to three months. This is the shirt that was underneath this romper here. So beautiful. So beautiful. Thank you again, Kitty and Toddy. Um, so, yeah, I I've, I've just like, I like to um, make sure when I do my videos that I'm doing them when I really enjoy doing them. You know what I mean? Like, I don't ever want to do a video just for the sake of doing a video. There was a time where I did a video a day, folks, every single day. And... Um, I really enjoy doing that, but sometimes now I just can't keep up. Um, and of course, I do have two channels. That being said, um, it's because sometimes I just feel like working on crafts, and other times I want to sit here and have fun and enjoyment with these dolls and talk about these dolls and talk to you guys 
and like touch base with everybody. Look at that. Her hair sticks up. Um, yeah, you know, like I just, I try to do the best I can and I try to just enjoy my day. That's all. I try to find joy in the day. And there's so many ways that I do that. Like I just, first of all, I enjoy nature. Um, and then like just the little things, because I've learned, over, especially over the last couple of months, like um, even when like you're waiting for appointments and stuff, like for me, I've had to, um, you know, I've had to find joy in that waiting, in that, um, that moment. So, you know, either I'll bring a book and read it or I'll like people watch again. Cause I, I, as a writer, like I people watch all the time, but sometimes I forget to like, I don't know. I forget to do it at a certain depth, a certain level. That's cute. She's cute. Um, so I've been, I've been very thankful that in a way my clock has slowed down. If you know what I mean, my clock has definitely slowed down and, uh, because you've got to wait, you've got to wait for appointments. Um, not everything happens on time. So that's what I've been learning. I've been learning a lot more patience and it's helping me. And I, I look at those experiences very much like that. And I'm just doing the one button um, on her. Come here, little girl. Let's get this on you. So, but I was apologizing um, because I never got to the comments yet, folks. And I always feel bad when I don't get to the comments because like you guys, I have 24 hours in a day and, you know, I work and I, I, I can, I can give you a whole list of excuses. You know, I really could. Um, but I ask myself, you know, do you guys want a video or do you want me to uh, comment on the comments? Um, sorry, little girl, what am I doing? I think I have to undo another button. I'm terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, I underestimated her size, folks. And this button. <laughs> Sorry, sweet pea. So, yeah, I I asked myself this morning, you know, and I plan on getting to them today. That's my goal. I have, you know, I have a few uh, things that I, I want to get to. Like, for example, my watch. I, like, my battery's gone in my watch, and it's not keeping proper time. And I actually, it's a cheap watch. It's really just a cheap watch. And it's such a throwaway world. And yet I like that watch. So I have a watch uh, kit. So I'm just gonna hopefully be able to take the back off and change the battery. But it, usually changing the battery in a watch is difficult. And like my dexterity is not the greatest, but I don't wanna just throw out things, you know? What are you doing little girl? What are you doing? So obviously this fits her beautifully look at this outfit oh my goodness and this color oh my goodness kitty and toddy look at this color on her i'm dying to see if that little hat works of course my hairs are falling out everywhere and i love this sculpt's feet love 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 look at this look at her little feet not so little but I just love it. Like, yeah, she's, she is just a real, I don't know. She's a characteristic and a half, this little girl with her hair and her little attitude. And <laughs> I can, I can uh, really think up some, now this sock, why is this sock so big? I mean, look at this. She's, she's a bigger doll. Maybe these are like Molly socks. I don't know but maybe I grabbed the wrong ones, but she's got to wear them because I'm not putting pink frilly socks on. Maybe I'll just fold that part down. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Um, yeah, they look huge, right? And this is the size she had on. So obviously I grabbed Molly socks. Oh, well, I'm not getting up for sockies. I remember, 
I remember the big sock pile of my girls' like upbringing. My goodness, I, three kids under five and socks. And that was before kids wore like two different colored socks to school. Like when that trend came out, I was like, where was that when my kids were growing up? Because that would have been too easy. <laughs> like, but no, we had to pair them up. And it was the worst like chore, you know, uh, in the house, basically. So if the one of like I got creative with discipline so if, if you know one of them had to be disciplined in some way they got to help me with the socks which you know I thought was pretty creative because nobody wanted to do the socks so I just have to pull up this um, tie because of the way that I've threaded her shoes through and it gets double knotted she kicks around a lot. We're just going to fold those down. Aren't those cute? <laughs> Hello, kitty. Like, so she's got this little bit of a, you know, but it is rather high up. So we're just going to scrunch those socks down. We're going to say, you know what, whatever. We're going to scrunch them down. So yeah, that walk on, on, that I did. Thank you all for your comments. Yeah, I, uh, it is beautiful where I live. It's, it's gorgeous. I mean, I will take you guys to other places like other parks, um, and you will see, but I think I'll drive there and then pull out the stroller as opposed to like what I did this last time. And even though that park wasn't far from my home, there was a few hills and stuff and, um, my body is still recovering. <laughs> and so, uh, like I've got to go slow and steady and, <clears throat> and I forget like, uh, the brain and the body often don't see eye to eye and anybody with physical injury will know what I'm talking about because, um, the brain sometimes forgets that, you know what, this has gone on. So your brain still has, you have something called old brain, new brain. So the old brain is, I can do anything. I am independent. I will do this. I can do this. And then the new brain says, well, good luck because like you just can't. And then you figure that out as you're doing it and uh, you kind of pay the price. So there, there is her little shoes on her feet. <laughs> Sorry, she was out of frame. I want to try this hat on her before I put the bow on because she might not even need a bow. Look at that sun hat. Oh my gosh. Look at that sun hat. But it's not, you see, it's not going to stay on her head because she's got such a big head. You know, it, it won't stay on there. So darn cute though with the shoes, isn't it? Like, I wonder how creative I can be with this hairband and that hat because that hairband would hold that hat in place, wouldn't it? And even though the hat is small, we can be creative for Casual Fun Friday. That works, doesn't it, guys? And to celebrate the fact that Kitty and Toddy live in Australia, I brought a little lovey down with Chloe so that she could play with that and she can have her Susie bath. And I just want to say to everybody, um, I am thankful for all of you and thank you so much for your patience, your love, your time. I'm very, very grateful. Uh, you're my YouTube family. I appreciate you so, so much. And to Kitty and Toddy, thank you so much, not only for this outfit, um, but for Casual Fun Friday. And to Tammy, I want to thank you for reminding us of our gratitudes and our blessings on Thankful Friday and um, to everybody this week whose themes I've missed or couldn't do or choose to do another theme or whatever. I just wanted to extend my gratitude for your efforts and uh, my love for your 
your time in this hobby and making it a better place, a happier place for everybody here, a safe place, essentially, because this hobby and this community should be a safe place. So, folks, with that being said, remember we are perfectly imperfect. You are loved, wanted, and needed. Again, to Chris, thank you again, Chris, from Chris's Cuddles for these beautiful shoes. All of the names I've mentioned, folks, will be in the description below. And um, Chloe's specs will be down there, too, just in case. Because a lot of people, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, how, how long is she? She's 22 inches. Uh, she's almost 7 pounds. She's the Gabrielle Awake sculpt by Claire Taylor. Um, a lot of people like to know that. So I just put that in the video. Anyway, folks, remember, we are perfectly imperfect. You are loved, needed, and wanted so so much so so much and i will see you all next time thank you for spending your time with me and be safe have fun and i hope you smile a lot today bye for now everyone